Today's Missing a Boat is accompanied by Dastardly Villain Brewing's Red Planet Rocketeer Red Ale. They describe it as having hints of toffee and caramel, balanced with roasty dryness and grainy, biscuity character in the finish, and subdued earthy hops. I like subdued hops. And as is usual for Dastardly Villain's beers, there's a bit of a steampunk theme going on in the little story they tell on the side of the can, which is always kind of fun to read. So today I'm going to be looking at this alleged UVC disinfecting wand that I picked up at the dollar store. Yes, the dollar store. So uh, I am guessing just from where I bought it that it's probably completely bogus. It's not actually UVC. It's not going to kill any germs, let alone 99.9% of them. But we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll actually check it. Other notable features, it has an included rechargeable battery and a micro USB cable which may in fact be worth the price of admission right there. It says it can run up to 16 hours on battery. It has a time indicator and a child safety lock. Woohoo! And then it makes some claims about uh, UVC sterilization. I still don't believe that it actually has UVC, but anyway. UVC light kills germs. It is a powerful germicidal technology and an effective tool in preventing the spread of germs and harmful bacteria. Warning, do not expose UVC light to eyes, skin, children, pets, and plants. I don't think there's any fear of actually exposing UVC light to anything with this, but let's find out what's going on inside here. Oh, hey, look, it was made with respect. So we have a manual, a little carrying bag, a USB charging cable, and this thing looking for all the world like a little remote control. So it has a 1 watt 5 volt charging input. It's got 500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, looks like it was made in December of 2020, possibly. And of course it was made in China. And more UVC warnings. Wow. While I'm looking through the manual just to see what this child lock is you give it a bit of a charge is there an indicator of charging oh there is a little blue light there indicating it's charging right all right so according to the manual we've got the stop start button and three seven segment uh display bits there showing seconds cleverly hidden hmm uh, on the back side we have the uv lamp head and down on the bottom is the child safety lock beside the charging port and the power indicator. Right, and then there's the bag and the cable. Yeah. Okay, so it runs for three minutes after you push the button just to make sure that you don't leave it on forever, um, accidentally exposing anybody to the hazardous UV light that it generates. Useful warnings. Never use detergents, gasoline, furniture polish, or other household cleaning products to clean this device. Despite the warning not to use gasoline to clean it, um... This thing actually has very well written English in it. I'm assuming that it was actually written by, you know, somebody who speaks English rather than machine chin translated from Chinese. So that's, I guess, a bonus. Anyway, this thing's been charging for a little while. So let's push the child safety button. The blue light comes on and then push that. Push that. Nothing happens. Okay, so I just had to push and hold the uh, this button here for about five seconds. And you can see that it is timing up. And you can also see that there's a sort of a bluish purple glow from the UV thing. So let's get one of our UV test cards out. I got these in a mailbag a while ago, and most of you probably saw them initially when Big Clive showed them off. Now, as you can see, my room lights being all leds all sort of cool white leds they're not showing any real uv there when i shine this thing on it oh wow it actually is producing well it is producing some uva too but it is actually producing uvc a little bit anyway and yeah it is also producing uva huh that is unexpected. Let's turn this guy off. It's not turning off. Does the child safety button turn it off? Yes, that does. Okay. Wow. 
I did not expect it to actually create any UVC. That is impressive. Let's put that guy face down. So, for only a couple of bucks at the dollar store, this thing actually does do what it claims to do. Interesting. Well, let's take it apart, obviously. How do we do that? I don't feel any screws under there. Spudger time, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay, that's just adhered on. That fancy thing. Can you hear that? Right. So that's the face adhered on. The little button is just a plexiglass or plastic thing over top of a standard little clicky button. And then we have some clips in here. Where's a smaller spudger? Well, that worked fairly well. That's come off. Oh, hey, a circuit board with all kinds of stuff on it. Cool. And screws. All right. So it wasn't lying about the 500 milliamp hour battery. That's cool. It's on a plug, so it makes it salvageable. There is the little LED, which surprisingly does generate some UV. And then it's got a small visible light LED right beside it. On this side, we have the three digit seven segment LED. We have some extra ground plane over there for heat spreading from the UV LED. The switch, uh, inductor, SP1 that says speaker buzzer. Okay. I was thinking it was a bigger inductor. Um, a few resistors, a couple of chips, another chip down here, which is probably going to be the power management or the charging control, I would guess. 4056A. Yep, no surprise to anybody. One amp standalone linear lithium ion battery charger with thermal regulation in a SOP 8 package. Programmable charge current up to 1000 milliamps. There is the schematic surrounding it. A couple of LEDs, a couple of resistors, a couple of capacitors, the battery, and it can even uh, measure an NTC thermistor in the battery for temperature monitoring while it's charging. That's cool. Although this particular battery is only a two wire, so it doesn't have that feature. But even though there is no protection on the board, we do have protection on the battery. They've actually thought about this product. So the main chip on here that's doing any of the heavy lifting, the timing, the running, the LED, that kind of stuff, is an SC92F7252X. Yeah, my Google luck ran out. Couldn't find a thing on that guy. But it does have an ISP header there. So it is clearly a microcontroller of some sort. Um, there is one transistor there, which is no doubt driving the main LED. And other than that, there's just resistors and capacitors and that inductor. So that little chip there with the inductor is probably boosting our voltage output to power this LED, I would guess. So yeah, that's what's going on. This is a little boost converter here. There's the diode and it's creating 5.7 volts to drive that LED. So that makes a certain amount of sense. And of course the voltage of the battery is just 3.8 volts right this minute. Other than that, this little chip will be doing the timing and driving that LED setup. Um, there's an active little LED blinker there. And I'm gonna show this to the camera, but keep my eyes out of the way. There is a visible light LED there and there is our ultraviolet LED. And unlike normal LEDs in this kind of a, what is that, a 3030 package, this one actually has some metalization around it, which I'm assuming is more heat spreading. And it probably has a special kind of resin on it that's more UV transparent, I would guess. But as we saw, it definitely lights up the UVC sensitive ink on my little test card here. That really surprises me, especially for something I found so cheap in the dollar store. Wow, $42 is what they wanted at Home Depot. Out of stock though. Fortunately, they were in stock at my local Dollarama. 
So it does live up to its claims. It does actually generate UVC. It does have a rechargeable battery. It's way over expensive if you bought these new, but they seem to be out of stock everywhere. But it's not, I wouldn't say, really effective. Like, look at the tiny little effective area. It's got a really narrowly focused beam on it. It's definitely not a high-powered device, that's for sure. So I don't think it would be all that effective at, you know, sterilizing large areas. You certainly couldn't do your house or your car. But I guess maybe a phone screen or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but for the price, I guess it's a source of a battery and maybe a little charging chip. Although I might put it back together just to have, you know, a UVC source, albeit a weak one just in case I needed to test something that reacts to UV. That might be handy. I'm sure there's a few people f screaming at me for flailing this thing around and worrying about my eyes, but let's try this experiment. You can see it glow there. Watch what happens. I put my glasses in front of it. Now, I wouldn't recommend the your, your normal glasses as protective eyewear full time for this thing. But for the little bit that I was messing with it tonight, I don't feel concerned at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments down below as usual. Um, I'm obviously not going to put a link to this thing because, you know, check your local Dollarama if you happen to live in Canada. Yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.